been seeing you've been enjoying this content and I'm so glad if it's helping anyone um, grow a business um, it's tough right it's tough to want to build a brand with limited resources and have all these ideas in your head about which one should you pick to run with which one are you passionate about? Which one can you have the most impact and add value, whether it's a product or a service? So this morning is kind of interesting. I am headed to um, a woman in tech conference. Um, it's, it's a workshop, I think. And uh, it's put on, hosted by Georgina, fabulous woman, Georgina Terry. And I am talking about the power of social media to really craft a brand. The conference is, is at the Hyatt? No, no, Marriott, right? Sean's with me. Sean's with me behind the camera. It's at the Marriott, right, Sean? Yeah. So we're headed to the Marriott. I've never, I haven't been to the Marriott in a long, long time. So I'm wondering what their training rooms are going to be like. But it's a beautiful day. Um, soaking in the energy of the sun because I know that in a little bit I will be not just training but also performing because you've got to bring your whole self to a presentation and I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm at the Marriott now and um, this conference is actually sold out. Um, I think it's testimony to George, Georgina's um, work with female entrepreneurs and I'm excited because I hope I get to see a lot of people I know, um, a lot of women who own their own business as well as as well as meet new friends. <laughs> How are you? Nice Welcome. to meet you. Thank, Thank you. So you. Um, do I register? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So let me introduce you to Ray. Hi. <laughs> Um, so Ray is from Incas and Incas we actually met through Foul 40. 40. <laughs> She's been like a follower. Um, I don't follow her. Even don't before I became 40. <laughs> before she became 40, we met in Diane's coffee shop. shop. Yeah. So you're talking data analytics, analytics right? Yes. Yeah? yes, I am. <laughs> super excited to be sharing on I'm the super, platform to be with I'm you. Super What are you most excited about today? That everyone just really leaves here with something actionable that they can take yeah. away. Yeah. Well, two things. One, inspired to, to do more. Yes. And two, actually have something specific. They're saying, you know what, I'm going to do this yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes people come to events and they, they just come to listen. Yes. And not do anything. With yeah. It. And that's that's the issue, right? Yeah. People, they say they want the inspiration, but really the inspiration has to be high. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. you too. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell Tisha, hello. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so a lot of times they take the information, but I always say, and I tell this in, in my own group, yeah. you've got, got to act on it, even exactly. though if it's messy action, imperfect yes. action. Do something with it. Because yes. you're going to see the difference, exactly. you know? So I think that's exactly why I came um, to the web conference, to show the woman in the room how showing up is what matters most. Showing up and making a difference on their pages, making an impact, creating waves, creating disruption, making ruckus, making noise, sounding the alarm. And I don't mean sounding alarm and, and by that I mean being loud and obnoxious. I just mean showing up consistently on social media as a way 
to connect with their audience and their tribe. And so my whole conversation, and I spent 20 minutes with the woman in the room and another um, 20 minutes answering questions and another hour in the line with female entrepreneurs coming up to me to ask specific things about growing their brand. And the, the thing I wanted to impress upon them the very most is to create content that matters and create content that's consistent. Three, two, one, boss babe! Fantastic. <laughs> Who your ideal customer is, what his or her, her, Shiro, what are her needs, what are her needs, and then create the content that satisfies her needs by adding value every single day. You've got to be consistent at it. No matter if you have one like. I have a post on my blog. If you have one like, you are still an influencer. I would tell you a story. I'm good with stories. <laughs> so I'm creating content, and my content specifically when I started this video, because I grew up on television, right? I was one of the Ricky Tiki stars. I worked at TV6. I was in Boston. I worked on TV there. So I knew how, it was one of my strongest assets. I was a natural storyteller. Right, I don't care, people are not used to social media yet. I'm telling my stories, I don't care who shows up, right? As yet, because I wasn't into the ideal customer yet. I didn't do that profiling. And so I am telling stories all the time, and uh, um, I'm telling stories in buckets. Motivation Monday, Travel Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Fashion Friday, and I'm creating videos in all my buckets. I tell that story because I want you to know the importance of creating consistent content to your ideal audience every single day. And it requires, more than anything, discipline. Now, I have a group, and if you don't know about it, you've got to go check it out. So it is a section of the Fall 40 community. So Fall 40 on Facebook and across. But there's a group called Caribbean content creators. It was formed just four months ago, four, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Still very small, but extremely active. And I wanted to create a community of boss babes who were building their businesses and brands online, very much like Georgina, but specifically in the area of digital and social. And guess what the comments are that I get all the time? I see a couple of members here. Um, I'm afraid to show my face. I'm scared to show my face. Oh, what if this caption doesn't feel right? Oh, is that you? <laughs> right? You know, it's like going into a party and you look around at the audience and everybody you feel is smarter, funnier, thinner, richer, and there you are, afraid to show up. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter what action you take, but take the action. It doesn't matter if it's imperfect action. It doesn't matter if it's action that feels scary. It doesn't matter if it's messy action. It doesn't matter if it's joyful action, but take the action and show up. You have to internalize your assets and your liabilities. And you've got, it's really, really simple. Again, um, I was looking at my assets and liabilities, and I, when I looked around at those bloggers who I admired, and I'm sure when you're looking at content, you are looking for sources of inspiration, am I right? Mm -hmm. And do you realize your sources of inspiration have the appearance of limitless everything? Yeah. And it can be very intimidating. <laughs> I sit with it and I am calm and then I acknowledge my potential based on my assets or my resources and I tell fair and this is literally what I do because it is a practice and there are a lot of people who don't want to show up in their feed so I would say take the customer journey along the product line and share the benefits of the product and, and you know what works on social 
the testimonials of people who are actually using your product and service, have them speak about the, the brand. I, you know, there, there's so many, not, I think every brand can be conducive to personal storytelling. I don't think in, in the small business arena that everybody is comfortable with personal storytelling. And I get that. But I still think you need to take your customer on a journey with regard to the intimacy of your brand and stop for heaven's sake promoting, promoting, promoting. You're adding value. If you show me how your product and service without your face is adding value to my life through storytelling, through testimonials, through how you write your captions, I'm okay with that. I want to really thank you. Thank you. For all your insights, all your storytelling and your amazing personality. And your amazing personality too. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank so, you. So, of appreciation. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was great. <laughs> that conference was just amazing. To be in the room with so many female entrepreneurs and see how passionate about they are about business and how much they want to use social media and digital as well as their own websites to grow their brand. I feel as if I feel energized. I know, you know, it was great to have them feel that I was energizing them, but in truth and in fact, it was the other way around. I'm so inspired. Oh, I'm